crazy. Nah, you know what's so crazy? I had like, it was like probably three or four year period. I, I didn't cry at all, right? And then, like, I was like blocked up, you feel me? And then, and then I forget, I don't even remember what it was opening, but like, I cried and I fucking cried. Like, I really cried. Like, really cried, like, for like a long <laughs> time and kept crying. And that shit felt so, like, it felt so good. Like, I let so much shit out that had been like, you know what I'm saying? Like stopped up, like, you know what I mean? Like Absolutely. And uh, you know, I think that should be like as a, as as men, we always kinda society be telling us, you know, we you can't cry, can't show emotion, this and that, right? And like, you know, that shit really that leads to a lot of men suffering in silence and you know what I'm saying, on the inside they got shit going on that they they afraid to show cause it's like you see you don't see no one else expressing that emotion. So you think like, oh, something wrong with me for if I'm feeling this way, right? And then the reality is not everybody who feel the same shit, you know what I'm saying? But right. it's just that people just don't show it, so it makes people feel alone, you know what I'm saying? And so, like, you know, I'm definitely an advocate for, like, men expressing their emotions in a healthy way because I think if you don't express it in a healthy way, that comes out in a toxic way, whether that's with the people you're dealing with um, relationship-wise or just taking out on your kids you know people take it out on like different different, different ways different, yeah. you know what I'm saying it's like cause you have all this all this shit that's just inside of you that you ain't found no healthy outlet for you know what I'm saying and there's no space that feels safe cause we can't really talk to our women about that shit right cause Shout shit, out women, women, women don't really want they Shout want us to be you know what I'm saying the, the, the rock so it's like you feel me so it's the same so it's like as soon as a girl trick you try to tell you like yeah no you can be vulnerable open with me as soon as you do that and next time she's mad, bro, she's saying everything you said that you, you know what I'm saying, your 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 deepest pain. That's everybody, you know though. That's everybody. You never did that? To you never did that to a girl? I, when she told you something and then nah, I'm not gonna lie, she I popped out I'm and not, you was like, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not a spiteful person. Like On like, accident. It could be like. I may, uh, okay, so on accident, inadvertently. Yeah, why, why you fucked that un, dude? Yeah, you was talking about that dude. Like, yeah, you had un, a stick on by your lips. I may, have, I may have mentioned shit to say shit that, that, so was, that was hurtful. Without it being the intention, right? Like, but re so, like, for example, recently I was dealing with this girl, and like, she, you know, she got, she was upset with me about some shit, right? And like, and actually was a pattern, so I stopped dealing with her, but it was like two times she, like, was upset. She literally said the exact shit that I had to, like, I told her some shit that my parents had said to me that hurt. And then, she, like, when she was upset about something, she says that to me. And then backtrack saying, no, I don't actually believe that. I just was saying it because da da da. Here's some and then, moment. And then she did it again. And I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> yo, like, like, I've never, and, and the whole time, even with that, her, I, I never retaliated. I'm just like, okay, cool. You, you saying that? You showing me who you are. Thank you. I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Shit, That's we fine. just got a whole, to a whole topic before we even started. That was the intro right there. <laughs> that was the okay. intro. That's the we'll intro. Do the intro quick, though. <laughs> Come on, give them to me, baby. All right, I'm in line. The pending is the worst. Dude, I'd be happy if I got these, but I'm not getting it. I know it. Got him. Got him. Better get him. Cause I got him. I got him. Got him. Got him. Welcome back to another episode of the Fair Game Podcast. I'm your host, C13. This is Cash. And we got a special guest in the building. So you are ready. Artist. Playboy Fresh. Playboy Fresh. Playboy Fresh is in the building. You are in ready. the building. Artist, entrepreneur, philosopher. You know what I'm saying? What city are you from? I'm from Oakland, California. Oakland, California. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay. My bad. I should have said from Oakland, California. That's all good. That's all good. Chris, wait, how you would do it? How you do it? From what? How you do the, uh, the starting lineup? Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, shit. Out of Oakland, California, standing at six foot four. Six foot four. <laughs> he be mad about that. <laughs> he be mad. Playboy Fresh. We in the building. Nah, let's be, oh. Bay Area, what's up? We yeah, in the we building. Need, we need that We, need we, need we, need we need that. How you feeling today, man? Man, I feel fantastic, man. I'm blessed. I'm the love. Yeah. Man, usually we start this show with talking about what we have on and how we feeling. So okay. what do you want to do first? How what we got on and how we feel? Let's feeling? talk about this guy's fit. He flies. Man, man, I brought out some special right. for y'all, man. Look, I had these dead stock. <laughs> Easy boots, man. Like Those are uncomfortable, though. No. They are uh, they, 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 no, they To me, they're comfortable. The soul, but on it depends the depend how your he's feet tall, though. For me, so. these motherfuckers, they, they're the most comfortable. These are my favorite uh, Yeezys ever. I had these dead stock. That's crazy. And and I seen, you know, where I was coming today, and I'm like, I'm going to bring out something special for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate that. Okay. My, my favorite my favorite shoes. You feel me? Well, one thing I got, I just noticed right now, you got some, you got some socks on. Oh yeah, that a lot of people don't have. He always and I don't. I don't really agree with spending <laughs> yeah, some crazy bread on socks. So let me tell you why. He got, he got let me tell you why it's oh. worth it. 
Well, come on, we do the, chrome hard socks. The the too. the like, the, the like no homo the thickness of the motherfucking socks. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the comfort that come with the designer Gal- socks. Gal- it's Gal- re- it's like that, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Like I, I I really I only wear designer socks these days, bro. Like because <laughs> it's like. Like Key. I just, Levels. I just, it's just, it's just comfortable, you know what I'm saying? And it's, and it's like the Nike sock don't do it for you like that. <laughs> like I have, I had, so I have some Hanes. I had, they always end up with holes in them, like you know what I'm yeah, saying? Hanes, Hanes ain't gonna last. Well, what about that? Well, it's just like they, they nice and like they sturdy, you know what I mean? They comfortable and shit. And I, but it'd it be fucked up because I'm trying to pack for a vacation or something or for a trip because all my socks is designer and whatever have different colors. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta match my socks to my fits when I'm packing. I can't oh, you got OCD, huh? You got OCD. Nah, so yeah, I'm kind of worried about it. I'm kind of worried about it. But, but if then. I'm going somewhere where I'm wearing shorts, it's like you know what I'm saying. I got some socks that like are bright neon green. And yeah, like, you know what I mean. You gonna see them, but like, but yeah, but I am. Even if I'm wearing, like you see, I matched them with my motherfucking. Come on now, sock game, yeah, correct? Anyway, you playing. ain't seeing them, but yeah, you know, socks I got on today. That's just my shit. You know what I'm saying? We not even there yet. Hold on. What you got on the jeans? The jeans. Go to the jeans. He's from Rick Owens. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Ricky! Oh, Rick, yeah, Rick. You know what I mean? Balenciaga shirt. You know okay. I mean? What about on the chains and the wrist? So the chains, I got my my, my Playboy bunny chain. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But, but they say you're from Oakland, California. Yeah. Okay, we'll talk about that later. We'll talk okay. about that. I mean, I, yeah, I'm already here. I'm not here. It ain't, it ain't no gang why, shit. No, nah, that's why. That's it ain't why, no gang you know, shit. It, it's right. one of the dopest logos yeah. in the world. No, nah, facts. Absolutely. Facts. It ain't no gang shit. Um, this is something special right here. Uh, this is a, it's the Bubba Watson, thirty eight oh one, Richard Mill Turbion. That shit fat. This shit, this shit crazy. <laughs> and and what makes this watch so special too? It has a meter right here. This meter show you, like when you hit the golf ball, it show you. Do you golf though? The, don't do that. The, don't the, just. You can't be flexing the golf watch if you're not golf? golfing. <laughs> you know. Oh, he don't <laughs> golf, y'all. He, this, he I'm, no, I'm gonna, keep, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I got this watch yesterday. That's fine. So okay. I, I decided because of this watch. You're gonna go golfing? I'm gonna make I'm gonna go at least hit top golf or something. You feel what I'm saying? I gotta hard. see I gotta see that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but you can see you hit your if you like do this, like shit, you see how this shit move? Yeah. It measured the fucking That's how it sold you. The power of which, nah, That's hey, how the salesman nah, sold you. No, nah, I'm like, so like, so for me, bro, I've been like, I'm like a, a, a watch nerd. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I've kind been of sore of some sort. Kind of sore. Like, bro, I've I've been like, I've been wearing, I've been wearing like Richard Mills and shit, like before this shit was popular. And the reason I was wearing them was because nobody knew what it was at the time, right? It was some shit that, like, it wasn't like people knew that it was expensive. It's like, if you knew, you knew. But, like, it was some shit that was, like, understated. You feel what I'm saying? And they was just doing cool shit like this. They have watches that, like, I used to have the Lotus Turbion, the, the G-Force, if you F1 driver. You know what I'm saying? The fucking, um, the Congo that they had, a, they created, like, a little, um, like, miniature spray paint uh, thing. Mm-hmm. And some weightless paint that the street artist from France was able to hand paint like graffiti on oh, that's each crazy. watch. Each, so Banksy? like they were just doing Banksy? shit that was like that oh, was different, no, no, you know no, what I'm saying? Banksy, right. And like and I like that. And and so like I really actually do shit because I like it. I don't do shit to flex type shit. So the the Richard Mill becoming super popular and becoming the thing that everybody knows as like a thing. Yeah, I actually kind of don't like that. Cause I'm okay. like, yeah, I like I liked it being something that was just, you know what I mean? You like, want to switch it up, do something different. Ahead of the curve. Yeah, have you seen you know? Have you seen the Chrome Hearts uh, watch that's been out? It's a Chrome Hearts watch. Yeah, that's been in the streets. You, you know. So my thing is this, right? Like, uh-huh. as a watch, as a watch purist and shit, like, and also somebody who who buy and trade watches. Like, I've I've bought watches and sold them for huge profits before, right? Okay. So like, I don't like wa- paying for watches that are aftermarket, like touch, right? So the Chrome Hearts shit is like. It's not a. It's, it's not repurposed. a. It's, it's yeah. It's like right now because of the strength of the brand, they might go for more than you know what I'm saying. I mean, whole value, but long term, it's not gonna hold value like a regular Rolex, right? Because it's it's been adulterated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like a bust down. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. You don't bust no watches now? Hell no! I get factory diamonds every time. Nice. Yeah. Nice. It's shining different that way too. Nice. It's like following up my fit after that is kind of embarrassing. But it's yeah. also like cause, really, cause, cause, cause that's, cause, but I'll say this too with the with the white with the bust down shit, right? This is like this is this is game, right? It's like so so partially it's like yeah, it costs more to get a factory, but it's worth more, right? So all right, you might pay one fifty for the the factory AP, but you're gonna sell it for one fifty or maybe even one sixty, one seventy. If you pay sixty five to get the bust down. 
you're going to be lucky if you sell it for 30. You know what I'm saying? That's true. And so, Thanks you know, yeah. it'd be look, I'd be looking at shit like the value versus the cost, right? I get you. It's just like you buy a home, it's like, okay, damn, it's not like you spent that money, you invest, you put it in a home, right? You put yeah. it in a, a property, you feel what I'm saying? So I Same shit in the like sneaker that. game, for real, to be honest. Absolutely. Keep, keep that yeah. shit DS, flip it for more. So. Yeah. But he just un so that's a rap for those. Yeah, I did that special for y'all, though. Yeah, I had to, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I, knew <laughs> I was coming, that. I had to come with something, that. you feel me? Was that, like, in the back of the closet type shit? It was not in the back. It was just there, and it was, like, I, many times, oh, I'm putting, nah, I don't know, like, I'm going to keep him dead. So I, and I was like, you know what? Rip the motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, little uh, tag off today and throw these on, you know what I'm saying? So That's love. Yeah. Absolutely. That's love. Yeah, yeah. Cash, what do you got on? I got on some, that? I got on some Buster ass BS, fit. BS no, on today. I'm not going to lie today. Uh, I kept it old school today, Vans. Vans are the bottoms. Target jeans. Sworn to us. Lake Show T. And I got the... Uh, what's his Col- name? That's a Kobe shirt, though. What's right. his name again? Bullies. Bullies. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to get the full name, but Bullies hat on. Mm-hmm. So it's inspired by Mamba. Yeah. Kobe. So, points. so I got the Kobe fit on today. Fire. Man. Something simple. Nice. I still get emotional thing about Kobe, man. That's just same, same shit. Same man, shit. Man, we, we had some conversations about here. Man. Almost cried. Yeah, what you got crazy. on today, man? Um, today I got on something basic. I was working, so Crenshaw Skate Club SBs. Those are fire. Uh, unique low on the pants. Scissor on the T. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Got to shout out Scissor because she go crazy. And this Twins Hat Club hat that I never wore before. I was looking at my hat collection. Was like, huh? What matches with this? Oh, so we just, shirt. We just bring it. We fire. just bring it out. Shit, we never wore today. I, 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 I bring like out something it. every I like episode. It. I ain't yeah. get the memo. You, I like it. I bring out something every episode, sir. Oh, okay. That's my thing. Okay. You'll get used to us bantering back and forth. This hey. is like he don't be putting that shit on through. Uh, okay. I kept the lights. I focus, I you said those Crenshaw, uh, Crenshaw Skate Club. Yeah, Crenshaw Skate Club. Club. Yeah. Um, definitely a fire shoe. If yeah. you know, I'm from the city, so with that mm-hmm. being said, uh, it's inspired by the sign and it's old and rusted. And you feel me? If you ever drove down Crenshaw, mm-hmm. you've seen that sign. You're like, damn, that's crazy. You got the little sign on the back right here. Mm-hmm. These are crazy. I don't I like skate that. though. Yeah, it's you all good. Me? I don't golf. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, you gotta start golfing though. You I have, yeah, I got so I got reason. Anyway, I mean, let's get to it. Let's get to some questions. You know, what I mean, usually we do the culture, but I want to start with some questions. Okay. What is your direct inspiration? Like, where do you get inspired from Life. doing your music? Where did it come from? Life. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll expand. Right. So, I feel like so as an artist, I feel like your job is to truthfully and authentically show people the world through your lens right and and through that you have the you have the opportunity to impact someone's life in a positive in a positive way right whether it's providing a, a song that they could turn up to you know what i'm saying the club or something that they can cry to something they can just you know what i'm saying throw on when they going through something like and so like you know as when i okay let me fix this real quick you know, when I speak, when I when I spoke earlier about like expressing emotions and the importance of that, right? It's like I think that I know that a lot of men have a hard time expressing their emotions and their feelings, right? I know that we all have deep traumas that that we oftentimes avoid, right? And we avoid them because of the pain it brings up. So, but I also know the power of music, and even if your experience isn't the same experience as mine you will have experienced the same emotions because we're all humans. We all feel the same emotions, right? And so through a truthful representation and uh, expression of my emotions and my my feelings, you can potentially get healing through that yourself, right? And I think that's important to me as an artist to to really speak to that and, and go places where people might be afraid to go or not wanting to go themselves. Okay, I mean, so as a newcomer to your music, though, like... How in your music does it speak to where you came from? Before off camera, you said you was from Oakland. Sure. Like, can someone who is a newcomer to your music listen to your music hear Oakland in the music? Um, not inherently, and, and and partially, I would say the reason being to an extent. Like, I started making music about like five, six years ago. And, okay. And I was living in LA. Been living in LA for like ten years. Where at? Uh, I've, I've been all throughout LA. I've been like. Everybody said they're from LA, but no, I'm not saying I'm from, about no, I'm not saying I'm from LA. I said I was living in LA. Got you. You know what I'm saying? So, so I say that to say I was never a part of the Bay Area music scene. Really? Like, as I, yeah, because I was I, I started making music. I was living in LA. You know what I'm saying? I was already living out here. So, um, that's where I and why I would say like it's not really like I don't really rap on Bay Area beats. I don't really 
Not that I wouldn't. I just don't. I'm like, I'm, this is where, like, LA is where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? It's been my home. I got, I got, I got two beautiful kids, twins. They're eight years old. Like, nice. like, like we live here. We live in LA. So it's like, um, you know, but I would say there are, there are, you know, bits of, like, who I am. You can't, you can't take the aspect of where I'm from out of, like, who I am, right? So while it might not be on the surface level inherently, like, you know, you feeling like you're riding through Oakland, you know, there are elements that are definitely influenced by the Bay Area, Bay Area culture. Like, the Bay Area is a very mixed place, right? It's like, it's it's one of my favorite places in that regard, right? It's like... Cloudy as fuck all the time. <laughs> San Francisco is, yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. Uh, yeah, you'll get the fog in the morning, <laughs> sun for like three hours, yeah. three hours. and then yeah. the fog back come back in. Yeah, like, you have, you have, <laughs> bring, you have bring layers with you. But, but like, um, but not, but like, you know, the thing I always, like, I, I appreciate about growing up in the East Bay is like it's so it's such a mixed melting pot you know what I'm saying and people fuck with each other too it's not like a place where it's like you know you go to some cities where it's like okay yeah there's a bunch of different every race lives there but they live in this party live in this party you know what I'm saying in Oakland everybody fuck with everybody you know what I'm saying so it's like that that aspect of it is a um as a special as a special type of place and environment to grow up you know what I'm saying you see a lot of different you see a lot of different things, a lot of different cultures, a lot of different backgrounds and shit. You know what I'm saying? And I played basketball in high school. I was, I wasn't shit compared. To, bro, kids have guys, the high school kids, like I wouldn't be shit if I was playing right now with how I was back. <laughs> like the kids today are, is crazy, right? But they are. But I was pretty, moves. I was pretty good for like you know what I'm saying for for my time, right? And like and so through that, I I, I knew a lot of people all throughout you know the the Bay Area and shit from that, and um, which was a dope a dope experience. You know what I mean? So. I mean, this leads me to this question. So first, I want to ask you: Are you hip to La Russell? Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, that's a big he do, guy. He's doing his thing for sure. Yeah. Yeah, he's very organic grassroots. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I love the way he also not only is he doing it himself, but he's giving game and, t- and teaching people how to they can also do it and make money doing that shit. And it's like I feel like I feel like we need more of that in the coach. We need more people who are willing to like extend a hand and 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 pull people up with them. You know what I mean? So you know, I like that. I like what you're saying. Yeah. So. That leads me to say, like, Russell is independent. Yeah. Are you signed to a label? I'm Are not. Are you independent? No, I'm independent. Is the goal to sign to a label? No. The goal is not, the go- and it's not, it's not, it's not the goal, and it's not not the goal, right? So it's not like, a, it's, it's, for me, it's like, I don't, I don't really set hard line things, right? It's like, I try to be malleable and, and, and be able to maneuver through different scenarios based on what makes the most sense in the scenario, right? So, you know, right now, I'm independent because it makes the most sense for me to be independent. And I don't think that I haven't made enough noise yet where I think that anyone's going to believe in me the way I believe in me. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm not going to go in somewhere where I'm now like by, by signing to them. Now they in control and they're deciding when this come out, when that come out. And they're not as enthusiastic as my team. Everyone on my team, like they they believe in it. They they they. Go hard for it, you know what I'm saying. So when the Playboy Fresh come record come out, all these guys is reposting it and bumping it. I mean, more than that, they doing they 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 spreading it and sharing Putting, it. You know what I'm saying? It. All that. Okay, yeah, that's you hard. I mean? That's fire. That's hard. To that's find. rare. Yeah. That's hard yeah. to find. Rare. It is hard to find, and I and, and and I and I value and appreciate it so much because I I've been I've been doing this for a while, and like this is the first time I can say I feel like everyone on my team is really fully here because they are passionate about it and believe in it, and I just here for the right reasons, you know what I'm saying? Um, and so I know how rare that is to find, how valuable it is. So, yeah, I'm very blessed. Do you own your music? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Have you made money off music yet? I've made money. I haven't made like the right money. Shit to live I, off of. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't. I haven't made a ton of money, but um, I. I definitely have put more money into it than I've gotten back for sure. That's how it always goes. But that's how it always but goes. one thing I can say is like, it's now I'm not, I'm like I, I'm appreciative of the little wins, right? Because I'm seeing I'm seeing it now how it's like it's 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 growing and moving in a way that is has never moved before. Um, and I've been on tour. Uh, I've been on tour with this artist for shout out for, and uh, we had a show in Santa Ana the other night, right? And there was like probably like a group of like I don't know ten or so people in the front when I was performing right, 
who knew every word of every song that I was performing, Jeez. right? That's fire. And to me, that's the dope moment because it's not my show, right? It's it's the, it's his, it's for a show. But they came and they seemed like they came to see Playboy Fresh and they it's, knew every word. It's the little things and that it's really like matter. and it's stuff like that. It's like the reason that that is meaningful is not oh because I'm getting fans. No, it's because it's impacting their lives. Like it's making a difference. It's it's it means something to them. You know what I'm saying? And 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 that's where it's like. That's where I find the 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 inspiration and the and the value in it, right? It's like when they talk about like who's like the most richest person in the world, right? They say, or or it could be said the most valuable person in the world, right? It goes between Bezos or or Musk, or right? It's like, I mean, there's people they don't mention, right? But 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 what I'm saying, right? It's like <laughs> That's a deep the reason why they're the richest, right? Okay, let's say Bezos, right? He provided a service that made billions of people's lives better at a value right and because of that service that he provided now he's the richest because he's provided the most value right and so i think if anything if you really break it down any, any real job or anything worth doing is a service job right and so okay. the way i i look at being an artist is i'm in the service industry like putting the art first before yeah i'm right? putting and putting the fans first though right it's like it's about what am i giving you know what i'm saying it's not about looking at me i'm great it's like no what can i what am i giving to y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like, it'd be crazy when I see like artists do interviews and they talking about shows and, bit, and the first thing they'll say is like, yeah, I'm getting like 150 a show. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. like, so you're not talking about the type of show you're gonna give the fans, you're not talking about the type of experience they're gonna have, you're not talking about how they're gonna walk away from the show, right? And then you see like, six months later, and they ain't getting no 150 a show no more, right? Because the fans went to the show and the promoter paid them 150, and you know what I'm saying? They didn't they didn't put on 150 thousand dollars worth of show, you know what I'm saying? Because they were thinking about themselves instead of thinking about what they was giving. You feel me? So, um, I think that's like as I've as I've grown in this space, that's like one of the things that I've learned, and and one of the most important things that I that I think I always am conscious of. What does 150 thousand a show look like? What kind of show does that to look me, like to, to you? To me, it's, if someone paying me 150 thousand a show. I'm gonna make sure I give them five hundred thousand dollars worth of like of of show and not not meaning expense paid for pyrotechnic. I'm, I'm talking about like just as far as like just thought and energy and 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 what's put into it, right? So for me, on that type, are you jumping that, around or are you standing there like Beyonce? <laughs> I'm having there be fucking set pieces and different okay. things. And like little, you putting little, your money up? Now, when I say that, I'm not saying like I'm gonna spend. Five, I'm not saying I'm gonna spend it. I'm saying okay. like they're gonna get a value of like I'm gonna make sure that they get more than what they. The value that I provide is is worth more than what they pay me. You, feel you got I'm merch. I'm, I don't yet have merch. I'm working on merch, and the reason I don't currently have merch is because kind of same reason. Like I'm making sure it's well thought out and and well put together, and um, I didn't want to just do something just to do it. It's like. I mean, you're drippy as hell. Exactly. You want so, to dress so, like exact, you. Exactly. Exactly. So that's where it's like, I don't, I'm not going to just put a little. You feel like you're, not, on a you're just, not ready for that yet? No, no, it's not that. It's, I'm, I'm, we're currently working on it. It's just, okay. it's like whenever, whenever, uh, you know, any of these, the Crenshaw Escape, I'm sure it took them a while before they made their shoe, right? They they had to spend time designing it and make it to where when I see it now, I'm like, that shit hard, right? Yep. So we're in that phase right now. We're we we, we we're putting our minds together. We're developing it. We're coming up with, you know, we have, we have, meetings this week about logo and shit like that. Like we we taking all this shit, like all the steps, we're not trying to skip no steps, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, it's like, there ain't no point in doing it if you ain't gonna do it right, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a merch or a clothing brand. I feel really, like really a clothing brand, okay, you okay. know what I mean? But there can be merch elements of it, right? So I'm going on a tour with Shorty Shorty uh, in the April. Like, Shorty Shorty, friend of the store. Oh yeah? yeah. He'll be oh, pulling up, yeah. Really Fire, hell yeah. Um, so on that on that tour, like he, he he's, he's blessing me, he's allowing me to, sell an item of merch within their merch uh uh at the venue so like so we're like we're trying to come up with like all right what's the one item that we should put for that right mm -hmm. but then you know beyond that like coming up with shit that we can give out like you know what i'm saying what's the item have y'all figured it out yeah no we haven't we're still trying to figure I got, out i got you i ain't gonna say it on camera okay so, you know what i mean but, but, but yeah, yeah. So Something everybody but, needs but, that, but that's the type of that's the type of thought that you know what i'm saying that, that that we put into everything and like we round table shit like my house has become like a like the, yeah, it's like it's like always has energy. It's it's bustling. It's like even if I'm sleeping, nigga, like people's there working, kicking it, hanging out. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it, which makes it a very familial, like family type of vibe too. And and so I think that's important too. It's like you spend so much time working, like you want to make sure the people you work with and the environment you work in is 
one that you enjoy, right? Um, or not, or not, or somebody who gets that shit done. Yeah, or I, not. I, sure. I mean, <laughs> I, I think it's like I just I look at things like if we if, if people enjoy what they're doing, they're more likely to do a better job because they're they love it, right? Like like I don't think I could be as great at something I don't like as I could at something I love, right? Because I'm that don't got nothing to do with me enjoying. I can enjoy this, but not enjoy him. I understand. What you're That's saying. what I'm saying. And but, he's still great. But no matter what, I can't do I, this without I, I feel him. Like, I feel like y'all wouldn't have the chemistry you have, and it wouldn't be the best that it could be if you didn't. If I you, don't like this. You, dude. you see, like what's, what's it called? Yeah, Skip like, Bayless you know, and uh, you know when they had their whole shit, right? They broke up. That's what I'm saying. But it worked because they ain't like each other. Oh, but the one thing is, it's one of the most legendary shows. Yeah, well, they but, broke but, up. But once they stopped, I'm defending your point. I'm defending your point. They broke up because, like, because they didn't. No matter how it was so successful, right? but, they still, that but they still couldn't stand each other, so they still had broke up, right? And so it's like at the end of the day, it's like I I I look at everyone on my team right now. I want I want them to be here in five years, ten years, twenty years. You know what I'm saying? And I want them to be here because they want to be here. You know what I'm saying? And so it's like, um, and I think that I want everyone to build their own. Like like we, we all gonna build empires. You know what I'm saying? And and it's like, um. Like the way I, the way I was raised and the way that I was was taught, like you know, I'm mixed. I'm half black, half white, right? My um, the the white side of my family has money, the black side of my family does not have money, right? Well, who's 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 my, who's my black? dad? My dad's black. Okay. And so, but I seen well, like this is, that's a juicy one. I'm gonna go so, there. Well, so but so I seen my dad like growing my whole life growing up, like I seen how how much he worked to help family, right, and to help yeah. help bring his family up, right? Okay. And so it's like. Those are like the lessons that I had growing up that really like I applied to my 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 life and my family, but not only my family, but even in a greater sense, right? It's like be that be that bridge, be that be that person that's willing to 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 lift others up and not make it about you, right? It's like and and understanding that that someone else's greatness doesn't take away from your own greatness, right? I think that's one of the things as a culture that we we get messed up where we we think that. We, we we don't we wish we don't wish success upon other people from our race because we're like we have a, a scarcity mindset. Well, what race you talking about from two races right now? You talking, talking about two races? I'm talking about black. I'm okay. Talking black race. Okay. Okay. Because you, white, you don't see the white, white cause, side lit. And that's why. And that's white why. Side lit, and that's boy. why I say I, I'm I'm I see myself as the bridge, right? Because mm -hmm. I'm somebody who who's, who has walked in. I, I, I walk in all rooms, like you know what I'm saying, and and, and they're all spaces and. I'm very observant and I learn a lot and I pay attention, right? And I analyze and I see how other races lift each other up, right? Like we have, you know, like I don't know if you've ever read the Willie Lynch letters, but that shit so crazy mm -hmm. when you read that shit. It's like, damn, the diabolical geniusness of it and the evil. It's the evil is, but it's genius, and you still see how it impacts today, right? Like you, you see like immigrants will move here and they might live twenty in a house and they all help each other, right? They all they all work together to be, like we. To tear each other down, right? But yeah. it go back to it go back to the the mental fucking chains and bondage that was put on us years ago, right? So it's like, so I ain't gonna hold you out. I don't like when people talk about slavery. I don't I don't want to hear about. And it. I'm not even going. I'm okay. not even gonna go. Okay. It's not even about that. Like it's just okay. I'm just I'm just acknowledging the root of it, right? Yep, absolutely. And so because if you go to Africa, you don't see the same type of the uh, like scarcity mindset of tearing each other down. You don't see that, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So well, they don't like us. We go to Africa right now. They don't like us. No, it's not they don't like us. They just they do. We're, we're not. We're not. I, I think we. I think. I think. So I look at. My, I look at like you know my my uh it's my it's my it's my blood cousin right there. No people don't believe that we cousins. Like, yeah. It's my blood cousin, yeah. first cousin, right? Um, we you know, know. We know. Is that the shooter? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> just wait. Um, wait like we, we know. We know <laughs> our family roots. We know it goes back to Virginia. We were slaves in Virginia. Our family was slaves in Virginia, right? Yep. Yep. So there is no Africa that we know about in our family roots, right? Absolutely. So it starts here in America, right? So I think that I don't think that it's an aspect of not liking or just it's just like we're not like to go there and be like, oh, this is where we're from. It's like, no, we're from we're from as far as back as we know, we from we, we was on in Virginia. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And so our culture starts here, right? And yeah. so our culture started in a way that was very uh we it was being we were being assaulted, right? We was being attacked, right? Mm -hmm. And so but out of that came resilience and strength, right? Yep. But also certain elements of coping and certain elements of things that 
are holding us back still, right? Where it's like, we're not, we, we aren't trying to support you. We're not trying to, we, there can only be one that's like, you know, and it's like that, that type of, um, like, I don't, I don't have that type of feeling, right? Like mm-hmm. I, I want, I want success for my people as much as I want success for myself. It's not, and I don't think that I'm not afraid of someone else being outshining me. Like I shine independently of somebody else to shine. Right. It's, it's no threat to mine. Like I, no matter who I'm in the room with, I'm me. I don't, I don't feel intimidated. Oh, I'm in a room with, you know, the biggest person in the world, whatever for now. And now I'm, I don't feel as secure. No, I'm, like, I'm me regardless, bro. And it's like, but it's like, so that's why I want to like really help, like for everyone who with me, like build, right? Yeah. And but what I learned along my path is like I've had, I've, I've had this this vision, and the the thing is like what I had to learn, where I had to get tougher and get stronger and, and get more seasoned was to learn like. Even if you have good intentions, you can't build with everybody, right? Because mm-hmm. some motherfuckers are going to try to be tearing the ship down while you're mm-hmm. trying to build it up. You know what I'm saying? And so that's the thing I had to learn. Like, it's like, you know, in order to do the good that you want to do in the world, you got to be, you got to, it's not all just rainbows and sunshine. You got to be a fucking, you got to be a G. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to have a level of fucking just toughness and grit that come with that shit. And that shit that I, you know, I, I grew up, my my family had money, so I grew up a pretty, um, like, cushy life, like, like mm-hmm. as, a, as a kid. My adult life has been the fucking opposite of that. My adult life, I've been through some shit, they right? you off. And it's like, it's just like, it's like, no, nah, it's just like God needed anything? me to go through that, right? Yeah. And, and so, because in order for me to be who I am now and to be able to accomplish the, the what, what he has for me to accomplish, none of the prophets had easy lives. Okay. That wasn't preparing for the what God had in store for them, right? What he needed them for, right? And so um, I understand now why, as an adult, I've had to go through the shit I had to go through. You know what I'm saying? And it all plays into, like, like so the things I learned from growing up in a, a around an affluent community, all the things I learned and seen from that, and then going through all the shit I've went through as an adult and, and like, just, like, street shit I've had to go through that it's not where I, I didn't grow up in the streets, but I've, I've, had, to, I've had to deal with a lot of street shit as an adult, right? And mm-hmm. it's like, all that shit combined, it makes me a very unique and very uh a very powerful, dangerous, you know what I'm saying? Like uh and dangerous in the sense of efficiency and effectiveness for for good. You feel what I'm saying? So two things. Uh-huh. Two things. So I like everything you said. I'm not gonna lie to you. I like everything you said and I appreciate that. Do you understand though how it could come off uh a little unusual to others when your skin is the color your skin is because it doesn't take anything away from you right because you said my dad's no, black my mom is white yeah. boom but you feel me sometimes when i'm looking at a, a good example is logic when you said something about your dad i thought about logic for some reason because i just watched a logic interview have you seen that mm. logic had his biological daddy on the show and he was he was just killing his dad for not being in his life he was just mm. berating his dad but it just looked crazy to me mm. as a black man, logic be rating his dad, mm. cause we don't do that to our dads. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Even our dad net could have never showed up. We still like, nah, he gonna pull up. Like, yeah. nah, cause he's, he's I mean, solid. You, you see how I said? I, I said my dad taught me and showed me how a man looks after his family. You know, you had saying? a different life though. You no, but I'm just saying. Though. I'm just saying from a standpoint of like. I guess from the standpoint of that aspect of which is why you're able to, to say what you're saying. Exactly, it's like it's absolutely. Like because Have you ever had any issues with that though? With my dad? No, 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 no. <laughs> We're not gonna go that deep. I'm oh. sorry. Like any issues with delivering the message you deliver, you start talking about um, books and all this stuff. And like I said, you know, I for mean, me, I'm like, hold on, bro, but not really because you said some shit, right? I mean, I think ultimately, like. uh I yes, all right. I have had people be like. Oh, like it's it's easier for you because it is for that, right? Mm-hmm. And and so you, and it's like, and what I would say to that is, you're right. I I agree with you, but put the do, pinky up but, and got on on that dumbass. No, but, no, but it's like this, right? It's like it's like okay, but like at the end of the day, is there gonna be? Do you want there to be? A, is there gonna be asterisks that said, oh, you didn't because you didn't have the same advantages that Fresh had? No. Yes, Bub- no, not. bubble chip is an asterisk. You know about you know about basketball. Yeah, yeah, but, then, but, the that, but that don't exist in life, though. That don't yeah. exist in life, right? If you're gonna be like, no matter where you, what, what's your, where you start, right? Like, 
where you finish is going to be where you finish and where you or, or where you even when if you have kids where you where you put them right that's where that's that's you your legacy get, you don't get to say to your kids like yeah well you know i didn't have this so that's why i'm not being there for you right it's like no like as a man you got to be like no nah, i'm going to do whatever i can to you know what i'm saying and so so i so i guess what i said it to say like most of the times when i have people who will who will have a problem with the message it's it's more so from the standpoint of them not being willing to like look in the mirror and acknowledge that they need to just do what needs to be done and just face the truth Mm -hmm. and they're trying to find excuses right and so when people are looking for excuses like they will they will do they'll use that well yeah but it's easier for you for this or like you know or when oh it's easier for men or you know what i'm saying it's like those those are those are the times where i feel like there's i've had that and then the the non the other things that I don't think I really I wouldn't call really in the same space but like sometimes on the internet especially people be like oh did, did he just say nigga like it's like I, I I'm I'm it's it's interesting because I never had it happen in real life right like but that's a perfect segue though that's some real life shit yeah Kendrick Lamar does his shows and he does not say the n word anymore because the crowd was yelling it back to him mm-hmm. not a good feeling you understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying so that's why he stopped doing it. And I agree with that. As much as I would say the word, I also agree with, yeah, you don't want 37 white kids yelling mm-hmm. the N-word at you. It kind of feels yeah. weird. It kind of makes well, you uncomfortable. I mean, that was because well, he had that one show where he had that, I forget what song it was, where that, the girl came on stage. It's like a Sweden or something, right? One and of the, the greatest songs. Right. But it's like, I don't have any songs that, where the word is that much of a, uh, like, that's like the focal, it's like, in like, it don't need to be down there the time. focal point of the hook, right? Is the, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, but, but yeah, I mean, I feel you. I, I just honestly, like, I just, I don't know if I could take it out of my vocabulary if I try, bro. It's just like, it's a shit. I just, I just, it's like, you know what I mean? So it's just yeah. kind of like, like, I just, you know, at the same time, it's like, and that's why I feel like in real life, I rarely, if ever, am even asked, right? People just, people are like, whether they know what race I am or they look like I'm mixed or even if they think I'm like Puerto Rican or something, like, they, they like, they don't, they don't think I'm white in real life, yeah, right? But yeah. it'd be like on the internet. Sometimes people see me, they and, you know, in in pictures. Your comments must be getting lit up sometimes. But it'd be funny because it's like as many times somebody will say some shit, and so, and sometimes it'll be like, like I had a time, I had a, I had a thing where like I had posted something. It was like an old ass. I was just going through my fucking phone, right? And I seen this old photo from like this video I did like years ago, and I was wearing super skinny jeans, right? So Remember I posted, when that was a thing? Yeah, right. So I posted it, my post my my. My uh, caption was, I've been doing this since niggas was wearing skinny jeans, right? Mm-hmm. And this one guy decided to get into the comments and saying something like, he was, what he said was, he was disrespectful. He took, he was like, he said something like. Niggas never wear skinny jeans. No, he said something <laughs> like, bro, like he said something like, oh, you saying nigga and you ain't, like ain't nobody dr- ever drug you out the car and beat your ass for saying it. Some, some, some shit like that, right? It was, it was interesting. It was like a, you know, the grammar wasn't that good. It was kind of hard to, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Mm-hmm. But like it went. It went like people who knew me and shit like went back and forth. It went like it was so crazy. It was like eighty seven replies to the shit. Like mm-hmm. niggas who know me was talking about like nigga like nigga send a location. Nigga pulling up like you know what I'm saying like nigga that's my family. Don't talk about it. you know what I'm saying. And it just be like I, to me it's like it's kind of my response to him initially was because I'm aware of how the optics could be right and I'm definitely not trying to offend anybody right and so even though he was disrespectful i didn't match his energy i said i said yeah my, my father's black my mom's white i'm mixed and i just left it at that right mm-hmm. and so it was funny in the comments when people go back and forth and you know what I'm saying making the whole thing he even said like your man's like responded in a respectful way like you know what i'm saying he like he good but now <laughs> i got an issue with y'all because you, you know what i'm saying so it, all you, the comments gonna always fight you feel what i'm saying but it was like it was something where it's like because i'm aware of the optics i uh i i handled it with grace you feel what i'm saying as opposed to like all right fuck you nigga. i say what i want you know what i'm saying because it's like no i'm aware right you but know? i mean that so, would have been kind of crazy though you it, know what it, i mean that's the like, optically like, yeah I'm, doubling I'm, down I'm, I'm totally thing. aware of the optics right you know so that's why, that's why i'm like that's why i'm aware i'm 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 aware i'm i'm aware that i'm very light-skinned right yeah. like Cause light skin is a thing too. You feel I'm me? I'm aware, and, I, and also I've been bleaching my hair blonde. You know what I'm saying? For some, that makes, Timberlake, and that nah, makes. <laughs> nah, that's your heart. But, I wish but, I could do nah, that. No, but that makes that, that, that since Shit since I've been doing I that, that right? I've noticed like, Are you the- like when I was growing up, I very rarely like would have people think that I was white. People always tell I was mixed, right? Mm-hmm. 
but since I've been bleaching my hair, and then and even in my life before I before I started bleaching my hair, right? But once I started bleaching my hair, that's when people would start, especially on the internet, start thinking I was white more often. You know what I'm saying? So outside looking know. in from the internet, obviously, you know, like even from my perspective, when I first saw your page, I I didn't know you was mixed. Yeah. So, but now meeting you in person, it's a whole different thing. I'm just gonna say it. On the internet, yep, he did look like that. But then he brought these <laughs> niggas in here with him. I'm a little uncomfortable. Look, you so right. Shout out to y'all. <laughs> so Let's do it. Let's keep it going. <laughs> nah, yeah. Nah, but uh, nah, but but actually, it, 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 it leads to great. It like, leads to great conversations, though, right? Because absolutely, I, I think I think it's like, um, I think it's an important conversation, right? And especially like uh, me being able to be aware and say, like, you know, I can acknowledge where. I've had advantages, right? And acknowledge where uh, things are different, right? And I've also had my own experience. Like, me and my homegirl, we always talk about, she be saying, like, she's mixed too. She's also fair-skinned. She, like, she feel like, she's like, I feel like mixed is its own, should be its own race almost, right? Like, mm-hmm. it's her thing, right? Because it's like, in her opinion, she feel like it's unique experience that's different Definitely. than both black and white, right? Definitely. And... And I, I agree to an extent, but I also feel like... Um, kind of like denying your roots in a way. No, not even, it's, not even it's more so like saying like... Uh, it's, not denying, it's not denying either side, right? It's, it's saying like that she's saying like the people who are half and half will have their own... Like an experience that's different than people who are full black or full white is what she's saying, right? Absolutely. And so she, she definitely... She's like me. She then identifies more as black, but like... Um, it's it's an interesting it's an interesting conversation, right? Because it's just like, and I grew up in a time where like it was it was always talking about biracial when I was a kid, right? Like, mm-hmm. and I haven't heard that word used in a while. In a while, right? yeah. And I think it's the world is biracial now. Everybody, well, yeah. Well, now yeah, more than yeah, more than yeah, biracial. Yeah. Now it's like you got tri- like tri- 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 <laughs> mutt. We got like four. Like, you know <laughs> so it's, mutt. That's what so it's like so now 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 everybody mixed. But it's like you know I think the conversation is important, and I think that it's important to have it in a way that's a. Like that's why that's why I respond like that comment. Like that's why I responded the way I responded, right? Because it's like my purpose in everything is like is to affect positive change and make the world better, right? Well, people will say that word is not positive. That's what I was gonna oh, say. The word? Like, yeah, I mean, you know what I'm shit. people I, say that I word mean, is sure. Going back I, to I, what I just, you said, you said it's hard to take it out your vocabulary. That's one thing, is, but yeah. is it hard to take out of your music? If even bigger artists done that before, you can edit it. That's what I'm saying. Kendrick said he don't. So he don't use it in any songs no more. Brother. That's why all the songs you hear are amazing, brother. Pop off only on occasion, brother. Face yeah. it, brother. Like I mean, you know, I think like I feel like that's true to him though, right? That's what he that's that's what he feels. No, that was true to us. You that you, was true to us. So you, that was you for feel the kids. Like, you feel that like that was for the kids. Kendrick is for the kids. Right. What I'm saying is like as for true to him as an artist though, is what I mean. Nah, because right. he came out going crazy. He from Compton. No, 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 no. What I'm saying, like that decision was oh. authentically made by him. In his spirit as an artist, right? With help, he made of that decision, right? Fans. You think you think like absolutely. I people told him moment, to stop saying it, or no, 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 no. no yeah, like, that's what, well, that's that what I'm saying. That moment, the conversation that we have, 100. percent That moment made him feel. For me, I don't want to have this anymore. I don't want this to happen, right? Yeah, right. So that's a that's an individual experience that he felt as an artist. That's so that's, that's why I say his decision to do that is truthful to him, right? Yeah, that's what I mean by that when I say it's true Copy. as an artist. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I don't. I don't. Uh. I've never. I've actually. I've, this is the first time I've ever, ever had this conversation about not using it in lyrics, and I. I don't. I've never thought about it. Uh, yeah. It's. It's a. Uh, it's etched in you, literally. Yeah, I mean, not even. It's like it, it, honestly, I never. It, it never was that deep. I never even thought about it in that yeah. deep of a way, right? Like, um, but yeah, I mean, you know, I think, I think it's like. So I. I I, I will say this, right? So, so okay. If I if I didn't say that, right, on that post, right, it's like then the, what I said earlier, the conversation about about uplifting and and, and yep. being right. Does it co- does it come up that I'm black, right? Before that, in order to have that be a thing that 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 conversation takes place, right? And which one is of more value, right? Because then it's like it's like within within that, and not saying that's the only way for that to happen, right? Yeah. But I'm, but I'm saying like. Every I believe that everything like everything happens the way it happens as it's supposed to happen, right? Like mm-hmm. and and it's like one thing leads way to another thing, right? Like so 
that instance happening led way to another conversation about it that became a where it's something very much more elevated and positive was talked about, right? Yeah. And and so at the end of the day, I feel like if I were to look at that and assess the value in that, you know what I'm saying? I would say that the value probably outweighs the any harm, right? So especially since it's addressed in a way that's Kanye said slavery was a choice, people were harmed. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean Kanye said some shit about some anti semite shit. I think with Kanye sometimes it's, still, it's like it's like harmed. it's I'm not like good, uh, but I understand. Yeah, I think I think it's like he doesn't necessarily always his mind works so fast, I think, right? Kanye's a genius. And so I think he doesn't take the time to catch everyone, other people up to where his mind's at, right? Mm-hmm. And he assume, he might assume that they are caught up and, and then they're not, right? And so then they get they're like, wait, you said what? Right. And it's like the the care wasn't taken to make sure that it was said in a way that was heard and understood so that the intent could be realized or actualized. Right. And so I think I think it's very important to be intentional with what you say and how you say it. And especially especially like in settings like this or interviews like outside of music. Right. It's like. You're actually talking, so people are listening to what you're saying mm-hmm. in a different type of way, right? And so if you are going to be touching on something that's going to be very touchy and you want to make sure that what you're saying isn't misunderstood, you got to be intentional about that to make sure that it's not misunderstood. Or don't say nothing. Or don't say anything. Well, no, but he has not shut the fuck up a couple had, times. Yeah, but he has an intention. There's a reason why he wants he, like when he said that, right? This slavery, he he had he he, wants he, he didn't say it for no reason. Let's not repeat it on here, guys. <laughs> no, but I'm saying he didn't say it for no reason, right? I'm saying he said it because he in, like I don't agree, but he had a reason, right? And he was trying to make a point, right? So that's why I say like if you're trying to, if you have a point or, or something you're trying to make or something you want to say, but it could it's a touchy thing, you need to be very intentional about how you say it, so as to not have it have the opposite effect. I think that's beautiful. I like everything you said, bro. That was, was he? I I don't want to. This it, <laughs> yeah, that was, was a long. long. He had he had some shit to say. That was a far left. Drive. I don't but, think that was on the docket, but you know, <laughs> no, that was on the docket. But he he had another answer. He had like six answers in that joint. It was it was, it was unfolding. <laughs> he was barring. I appreciate up. That's that. why. Um, barring up. Was the music industry everything you thought it would be? Um, there's nothing I thought it would be. Okay, it, how? Like um. Uh, so uh, I think I think like it's probably one of the most ruthless industries in the world, right? And because it's not just money that people are fighting over, it's also fame and and like that aspect and like so with that, there's so much ego involved, there's so much you know, and and I think there's a lot of uh, there's there's a lot of high level of like people trying to use other people or. Social climbers. Yeah, and, and, and or even worse, like, to, like, you know, trap somebody in a fucking fucked up contract where they're, like, essentially, like, uh, they can't get out of there. Like, I, I, I've heard of artists literally having to, like, retire from making music because their contract was so fucked up. They were big. They had, they had, mm-hmm. they had, had motion. But their contract's so fucked up in a way where they ain't not, never going to, they're not gonna see another dollar from that. They might have got an advance, but the way that it's set up in the repayment structure, they're not gonna see another dollar from that shit, right? So they going they they like shit. I don't. I, it doesn't make sense for me to keep making music, right? You said though you was raised in a good upbringing, so you might not understand somebody who don't got nothing coming from the bottom. No, no, I, I, if somebody I do, come I do and bring you four hundred dollars. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Somebody come through and bring you four million. I don't have nothing. I, my, 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 I'm sure. laying on the floor in my mom's crib. No, right? I understand. That's why I said it's ruthless. It's ruthless and fucked up because people are preying on. But that, I'm already right? getting four hundred million. Now. I'm no, not people, on the floor People no are more. preying on that. Yep. That's what I'm saying. That's what Absolutely. I'm saying about it. Right? It's like whose job is it to make sure they don't get preyed on, though? Uh, that's a very high you level, philosophical me? question, right? But like, I think it's like I think I would say someone like a little Russell's doing a great job at making sure that yep. he's giving people the the knowledge so that that doesn't happen, right? And I think that. Like I said, I think we need more people who are going to do that work, right? And, like, be those people who are not only – and not only teaching or telling, right, but also, like, providing that that avenue, right, providing that 
that space for that, right? Uh, so that's something that's like when I think of like like higher goals, right? Of mine, like beyond just the artistry, it's like providing a um, platform for people to. For, I want I want us to own our own culture, right? Mm-hmm. Like it's it's like we should like it's it's. Uh, you know, Jay Z said, "We're like, oh, it's black guys, sports and entertainment. It's like, cool, but that's if we own it, that's enough, right? Like, that's enough to have to gain so much economic power, and therefore then political power, and all you know, to to make our us as a people be in a totally different circumstance, right? And so, if I can move us closer towards that in any way." That's what that's what my goal is. That's what that's what my job is, right? That's where I see myself, and why I see the way that my life had all lined up and everything that God had me put me through and showed me and such and such, and put me in position for, like the purpose that I've always felt, but I didn't know exactly how to actualize. Like it's starting to become a lot clearer, right? And that's and that's a very big part of it, right there. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean. That was also deep. <laughs> he hit me with the deep. Yeah, with some like, bro. He did say philosopher at the Man. beginning. Yeah, I did. He did, I did say did. philosopher at the beginning. So, so you saying it's not? It's dark. The music industry is dark. Is is what it is. Well, okay. So, what's your number though? What What's the number? What, if somebody come to you, if Capitol Records come to you tomorrow, ten million. So it's not. So for me, it wouldn't be a number. Ten million for the squad. It wouldn't be a number. It would be. Uh, it'd be terms, right? Okay. And and. I would, I would much rather do something for a lower number where the terms are going to be advantageous, right? Because I think that is the 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 privileged aspect of like my background, right? And, and like to where I'm able to see the the long play, and you can't you can't like get me, but you can't bait me with a hook of like million dollars, you know what I'm saying? Ten, I said 10 million. No, no, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, right? Matter of, like, 20 million. I'm just saying, I'm not, it's not, like, I believe that if, I, I believe we can make billions and I believe we can own it. So, so why would I, why would I give it all to you? Especially if I say at the end of the day, right, what's, what's more important, what's like, money's not the most important thing to me, right? I think, I think that's the thing that having money, at young age, having money, growing up money, like teaches you, right? People overvalue money. Because they never had it, right? And I'm not saying it's not important. I'm not saying it doesn't make a difference, right? Y'all broke out there, you said. Yeah, I'm, said. I'm, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that it doesn't, like, that it's better or not. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is people put it above everything. People put it above God, right? And Money over everything. Money over, money over bitch, everything, dude, over right? It's like, and so bitch. it's like, and, and so for, for me, I understand that it's not as valuable as people think it is, right? And who you are and, and, and when you got to go answer to God and when you gotta look yourself in the mirror and answer to yourself, that's, a, that's more important to me than money. Right? What about when we got to go to space, though? Your money is going to matter. Your seat. <laughs> earth, is, earth and the blow up. You feel me? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, 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 like I said, I don't think money's not important. It's just not, I'm not going to sell shit off yeah. for something that is not as valuable as other people think it is, right? That's why people who, who do do that, right? When you talk about they, oh, they signed something for a certain number and they, they give everything up, like, you don't hear a lot of them being like, I'm so glad I did that afterwards, right? Some. 50 Cent signed $3 million deal. That was a lot at the time. Mm-hmm. When 50 Cent signed that $3 million, look at 50. Look at 50. No, but... No, $3 so million sign, deal, but, but shady I, I, I said the terms, right? So, like, so he probably didn't have... I'm assuming 50 Cent had... I'm pretty sure he was in a 360. 360 is not inherently bad. It's just... It's just... It's just an... It's like... So, if you have 50-50, 360... Versus a royalty structure, like there's ways the contracts. Like I've, I've, I've on labels. I have artists signed. Like I've done that. So like I know deal structures. It's like if you're in a royalty structure, like that means that say say it's a ten percent royalty just to give rough number. Like, you make you make a dollar, right? They spend a dollar, you make a dollar. You're not recouped. You've only recouped ten cents on mm-hmm. that dollar mm-hmm. because it's, that's the royalty structure. So, so it's like so how are you ever going to get out of like recouping, right? Versus a fifty fifty. They spend a dollar, you make a dollar, you recoup, boom, right? And now you're 50 50 on the, on the net, right? So that's why I say turns is more important than than what the, the number is up front, right? Because there's like there's ways to, if you get, if you have enough motion, you have enough momentum, you can sign a favorable deal, 
right? That's true. And and so that's why I say I'm not I'm not my goal isn't to sign up di- to a dip label. It's also not to not sign to a label, right? Because it's it's all about the deal. It's like if 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 we assess and I have some smart people on my team and we assess that okay this this type of deal that's structure. This guy right here, I can tell. Yeah, he's smart. They're all yeah, smart, this is the right? So guy right so here, so we have we have probably second. We have this type of deal <laughs> and and and. This is where we're at. Where we're generating right now. We, we do this. This would infuse this much cash, and then da da, you know, and what our split would be, and what they're willing to inve- invest in it. We make a decision, an educated decision as to whether or not it's a beneficial deal or not, right? And so, I think there's only factors in it, and I think, but I think it's like, as an artist, most artists, and I was this way for a long time too. Was like, I just wanted to be an artist. I didn't want to think about the business, and then, and I realized I was like a childlike type of fantasy. You can't, you can't be a successful artist, at least not to the level of success that I see myself having, without being fully invested in all of it. It's right, the music business. It's the music Absolutely. business, right? Yeah, you want to be a, you want to just be an artist that you can you can go sing at at like cafes in Seattle and shit if you want. Like, but like you trying to be a star, you trying to make money, you trying to do this like and build shit off of it. You yeah, you gotta understand the business. There's no other way. Agreed. Yeah. Now that's fire. Once again. I want to talk about some music that you did, man. Uh, so I listened to the new single, Upgrade You, which is not the new single anymore because the new single came out. After you dropped that. the whole she tape. The you dropped the whole yeah. tape. <laughs> mm-hmm. Let's talk about Upgrade You. When I sure. was doing my research, I seen Upgrade You. I was like, okay, cool. So two questions. What inspired you to do that song? Who did the beat? And let's go there. I got another one after that, though. Okay. Um, damn, so far, I don't even fucking know who did that beat. Damn. <laughs> Damn. I mean, damn! Shout out to them. Yeah, it's fucked up. Um, <laughs> I made that song a long time ago. Like, okay. Uh, How long ago? Like shit, it's got to be like at least two Sheesh. years. Two years, nice. Hey, Who boy, hey, hey, dropped the album? It took him. Hey, four, hey, it took him five years. To well, so it wasn't that it took me a long time. This was the timing of when I wanted to, of putting it out, right? So it's okay. like, but the fucked up thing. So the funny thing about the heartbreak tape, right? It's like I had a, this relationship that was toxic, and it was. Like a lot of like, there's back and forth, like break up, get back, break up, get back. Like, so some of these songs on Harper's Tape were made and then we got back together and then we broke up, right? Scratch and like, the song and it'd be the same it, shit yeah. though. It'd be like the shit that, that what I'm talking about in the song, like that's how you know that nothing changed. You just went back cause you was lonely or whatever fuck you went Life is a rerun. comfortable with. And it's like, because you listen to the song, damn, I, I wrote that back then. And I was, I, I felt that way then. And then I didn't break up with her till a year later. What the fuck? Like, you know what I'm saying? So that's the crazy part about it. But, um, but, but yeah, you know, that, that was a, it was a relationship that like, I. Made her fly. I, 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 I signed her to my label. Um, I, I, uh, you know, put out her, her first in music and, and helped her, you know, and like, uh, it was, uh. It was, it was, it was, that, that was, that was a mistake, right? Because it, it, and I moved way too fast on it, right? And it was like, in hindsight, it was like me being in a vulnerable space and, and like wanting to have a, a codependent type of dynamic to feel more comfortable, right? Oh, but like, always get you in a vulnerable space. Yeah. But like, you know, um, ultimately it was like, that tied us together because of that the business because of what I'd invested in her right and so it was something that was like I should have been able to I would have been able to separate from but because there's so much business intertwined it made it way more difficult because even we break up I still got to deal with her right I'm still invested and so it's like it just made it just prolong the whole thing you know is she still upgraded right now um <laughs> I, 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 I think she's doing well. I want to. I want to say she's doing well. You and know, it's because of you. It's a funny I was, no, 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 say I, that. I, I think. That, I think it's. Uh, I think. Hey, hold on, my, my bad. Hold on, my phone <laughs> going crazy. Hey, uh, Alex, can you answer David? Hey, phone must be at the gate because they keep calling and shit. Um, all you gotta do is just push the door. So no, no, I'm saying like my copy, my house shit. Copy. Um, but um, I would say like, I. Definitely played a, a role and played a part and helped her and to get where she at. And I think, and, and now she acknowledges it. She's a, like, the thing is like, during the relationship, she wasn't really able to acknowledge it. 
or they never do appreciate it, right? <laughs> and so much so that I was doing, I suffered so much that when like when we broke up, and I just stopped doing all the extra shit I was doing for her. She felt like I was trying to hold her back, and I'm like, I'm not doing anything to hold you back. I'm just not doing all the extra shit I was doing before. But that's how that's how dramatic and drastic the shit I was doing for her was because. She felt like I was, oh, you're holding me back, right? And so I think as time went by, like, you know, she fucked around. She tried to sue me for a million dollars. like, uh, But, like, it wasn't even really no, it was like, uh, it was, there was no claim. So we just, like, we just kind of laughed at it. We just, like, wrote, I even wrote back to the lawyer. I wanted to, she, she was just trying to get released. I wrote, I wrote back. And I'm like, you know, well, pursuant to paragraphs, I'm, t- I'm like, I'm, I don't even wait for my lawyer to respond. I'm just responding to the bullshit, right? Um, but, like, you know, then, it got to a point where I guess she kind of calmed, you know, it took her longer than me. Like, cause for me, it was like that, that year of going back and forth was like, that was miserable. Right. But that final time when we broke up and it was like, I, it was like, like that I was over, I was past it. I was like, I had done enough of that. And it was like, so clear to me and so certain. And I was able to just let go completely. Right. And so, um, I don't, I guess I'm, I don't think it was the same for her in that regard, right? Based on just the way that she was acting, operating, you know, about shit. So uh, I think once she kind of got the place and said, let go of that and calm down, she was able to see and appreciate what I'd done. And we were able to come to a place where it's like, okay, look, so I do want, I, I, I still want you to have success. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we have to work as a team. We can't, you can't, if you're trying to fucking sue me to try to get out of the deal when I've, invested money into you and helped you and all this you're not gonna win that suit and we're also not gonna put any money behind you or put like why the fuck we because if you're investing in artists you're investing in a person right and if i'm investing in a per why would i invest in a person that's showing me that they're gonna try to sue, sue me or try to get out of this so it doesn't you're not a good you're showing yourself not to be a good investment out of your your emotions and once she was able to kind of get to that space i think like she got a lot better you know what i'm saying so you'll still strike no has she ever give you in, like any comments on that album or tape you just dropped? From her? Yeah. <laughs> um like that was about me. You, no, down. I think I think I think uh I think at this point she's too prideful to even say anything about it <laughs> if she listened to it. Um You think she listened to it? I don't know. But but there was a uh, You didn't send it to her? Nah. <laughs> that, right when it dropped. <laughs> get that. Because get that. But like there was like a um Physical the thing was there was like a uh I before I, I could we had become cool right and then there's like like where's peace and so like before I started the, the roll out for the tape I actually called her and I'm like yo look I'm about this is what I'm about to be doing da, da, da. we're cool and I, I know we're cool now we're good so like I don't want you to be like oh like we good and then you saying all this crazy shit so I'm like I'm just gonna give you a warning here's the heads up like That's this cool. is what I'm fucking That's about to do you know what I'm saying Jordy would have been all over the voicemail. <laughs> I would have been on the voicemail, on the tape. If it, if it had came out, so I initially it's wanted out. to put it out like February of last year, mm-hmm. which would have been like probably three months after our breakup. That's when I really that's when I really wanted to put it out. That is when it would have been like a, a, a reaction like that for her, you know. But, um, you know, I didn't put it out then because I had to get a bit my business right, my team right, and I, and I you know what I'm saying? I knew I knew what I had this time around. Like I, I've, I've had, I've had runs of putting out music before, right? But like, I knew what I had this time around, right? And I knew who I had become. So I didn't feel any anxiety or anxiousness about the, about it, about the releasing stuff and being in a hurry or whatever. And so I just was patient and waited until I felt like the circumstance, the situation was right. So. By the time I felt that way, it was like midsummer. That's so why I dropped the him tape, which is all club bangers. And then um, you go to the club. Yeah, man. You know, I uh, I I I I build my name in the L.A. Uh, in Hollywood clubs, like throwing money and shit. You be outside. Man, what? I used to fuck this shit up out here. Like <laughs> <laughs> I had a crazy, I had a crazy run out here that like before, and this was before COVID and shit. So like, I don't even. I actually, I've been out a couple times recently and it kind of started to feel like the old Hollywood again, you know, because mm-hmm. for a while it felt like it was just like, it was just not the same. It was dry. It was like, you know, um, but recently it's been feeling like it might be coming back. So I might be 
back outside in LA. But uh but yeah, I had a crazy run out here and then uh I was fucking up Miami too. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nice, so, nice. Yeah. Nice. Miami is fly. Miami yeah. is fly. That Miami I is went always to, sexy. I went to Houston on uh on this tour I was just on. And I really liked Houston a lot. Like and I, that was my first time really going out there. Second time going there, but like like I fuck with Houston. It's, the it's culture like, is in Houston. Yeah, and it's like it's like a um you have like the the all the clubs and the shit like how you have in LA Miami. But like people are a lot less pretentious and shit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like um I like Houston. I'm 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 go there more and you know what I'm saying, impact over there for sure. Yeah. Let's keep it music. How can you be cursed and blessed at the same time? Aren't we all? I don't know. If I'm blessed, I don't be feeling cursed. Yeah, but you might not in that moment, but there's there's like you might come around. I think I think I, so. I think I think like you know, as you, like the duality of of life, right? It's like you can't you can't even know what blessed is without knowing what cursed is, right? Like you can't know what dark is without knowing what light is. Yin yang, right? And so it's like um, I think I think they and I think out of out of your blessings come the curses. And out of the curses come the blessings, right? Mm. And I say that in the sense of like, so out of the blessings, like you know, if you bless and you have abundance, you have the cursing. Curses could be people come and try to take that or use that or take advantage or whatever for right. Out of the curses of like you know, struggling and working hard or being in a position, you are gonna gain a lot of strength and 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 grit that will lead to that's a blessing out of the curse, right? So. Okay. Uh, I think that I think that that duality and that yin yang, like you said, is very much a a thing. That's fire, man. I, um, who's producing your music these days? Uh, recently, I've been working with my boy Smack, Eight Hundred Eight Mafia, a lot. Okay, um, and then my boy Alan Ritter. Okay, yeah, it's been like probably, got some bangers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like for me, like I'm at a space where it's like you know I. I've narrowed in my my sound, you know what I'm saying? My 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 knowing what my sound is, and I've also, um, I've elevated my sound, okay, from where it was to where it's like what did it used to be. I mean, you know, I like agree. what 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 shit like is when you start making something, you know, like you, you it takes a lot of time and dedication to become pr- like great Mastering at something. Your craft. Right? Yeah, and absolutely. so like now that I've I've honed in on that, it's like. I'm in a space right now where it's like, I got, I fuck with who fucks with me f- and, and that, but that's great, right? And like, both of those guys I just mentioned are great, you know what I'm saying? And they make records for the biggest artists in the world, but but they're like, they fuck with me. So like we do, I'm getting love prices, right? Because it doesn't make sense for me to be paying what like the big producers, what they get paid. It's just, it doesn't make sense as a business model right now. And so, but I got people who, like, I only got a ton of number ones, you know what I'm saying? That's my dog. Like, I make music at his house in New Jersey and shit. So it's like, you know, um, I, I, I'll, I'll fuck with, you know what I'm saying, my people, you feel me? And just really just, like, the people who believe in me and see the vision, you know? Do you have any writers in the studio with you or are you writing on your own stuff? I write most of my stuff, but I have, I have there's two people that I work, that I will work with as writers. Uh because I feel like I'm not not on no brag. Like I, I feel like I'm a better writer than most people that I meet okay. uh, writers, right? Okay. So like, but there's two people who I feel like add a, add a lot of they're 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 great to where they add, and it's when we, when we go in together, we can make stuff that takes it even then enhance it. So like ah, uh, but I'm very like I'm very. Because there would be a lot of people who be like, oh, I got a writer on you work with da, 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 this and that. I want to send you demos. I'm like, bro, I'm. I promise you, you're not gonna send me a demo that I'm gonna that's gonna work for me. Like, why is that though? Because I believe that specificity is like one of the most important things to making real art. And there's no way that you have something just sitting that is just perfect for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, because my music's very specific. Like the heartbreak tape, dude. What I'm talking about, like, it's, that, uh, it's very personal. It's very, it's like, there's just no way, right? No one and else so, could feel what you yeah. feel, type shit. And so it's like, does that make music not relatable though? When no one else could feel what you feel? No, nah, nah, everybody's been to so, same so, scenarios. Yeah, this is what I was. This is what I always say, right? Is like, 
you might not have that same experience, but that emotion you have had, you have felt, right? And so, and I think that if something's general and generic, it's not going to make you feel the emotion because it feels general and generic, right? But if it's specific and you're able to really feel the emotion of it because it's so specific, you know that it happened to me. You know that the upgrade was about a specific girl, right? Yeah. So, like, you can feel the emotion because it is specific. And whatever the circumstance that you had that make you feel that emotion, you can put that onto that and, and experience that through that. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so that's why I'm like, I just, I mean, maybe I'll be surprised when someone sent me a demo that I like, but I've never cut a demo that someone just sent me. Like, it's Damn. never happened. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, like, so yeah, I, and I, I very much so, like, I have a studio in my house. I write every day. I, I make, I make it a point to record every day. Even if, I, even if I'm like doing meetings and shit, it's like 2 a.m., I'm gonna like, and if I only finish a verse or a hook, you know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm gonna do something. You know, get what your saying? reps because, up. Yeah, being consistent, doing them reps, <laughs> and it's like when you do that all the time, it's like like it starts to become a thing where it's like the out the outcome is consistent, right? That when the input is consistent, and you're constantly inputting the work, the output becomes consistent too, right? And it consistently is what you want it to be, you know. So, yeah, my little homie, he signed a TDE, and and he made like over 200 songs before they released a single for him. Mm. And I was just like, damn, bro, like they got you working. Uh, but when he released a single, it was fire. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I appreciate that work you put yeah, in because for sure. that's what it takes on a mainstream level too. Well, and another part for me is like, um, I feel like in the times where I put up music before, I never put it out consistent enough, right? My you dropped two tapes this year, right? Or two yeah, singles. I've, I've dropped two six song EPs. Yep. And I've dropped like, uh, a few like two song EPs and singles. Yep. Like I got. Uh, I'm actually gonna. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna make a heartbreak tape deluxe. I put four more songs on it, so it's gonna be a ten song. Still broke. Huh. Heart still broke. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking shit. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be. You know, I just feel. I feel like that. That. That project. Like, I, I just have a few more songs that I really like that are talking about that relationship. I want to put all that out and get that out. You know what I'm saying? And close that chapter. Yeah, close that chapter. Like, you know what I'm saying? But give everything. Give like put everything that I felt that I that I experienced out. You know what I'm saying? Give everybody the full like aspect of it, right? And then and then be able to just move on. I don't want to talk move, about that shit no more. You know what I'm saying? She flip it on you though. You know, you seen Meg the Stallion and she broke up with her dude and you her know, dude put out a diss record. You know the crazy thing is like the good And a podcast, run. And a podcast. Run. Yeah. <laughs> she so she she's um doing a podcast right She from right. she from Brazil. Oh, that's fine. And so the music she make is like either Spanish or Portuguese. So I'm not gonna understand what the fuck she's saying anyway. So it, ain't, <laughs> <laughs> it ain't really gonna bother me. Like you know not what I'm saying? <laughs> not racist. <laughs> no, I, I don't speak that language and shit. Like I ain't gonna understand it. But and, it, but is her community gonna understand it though? Yeah, sure. Huh? Yeah. And they but gonna the fuck the, you up because it's a lot of them yeah. motherfuckers. Nah. At the end of the day, it's like you know. <laughs> You, you're gonna be the villain in someone's story. Ooh, I like that. You know, I like that. I like so. that. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, I'm trying to be the villain in everyone's story. Fuck, man. Um, <laughs> I hate. But being, I'm the villain in your I story. Hate that, that, that's you are. One, sure. one of my problems. I, I hate being the villain in people's story. So I trust. Why? So, Why though? It's so amazing. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting to the point where I'm having to become more willing and, and comfortable with that. Right, like because I'll put myself in situation. I'll, I'll try so hard to not. I don't want to be the bad guy. Mic like that. I don't, I don't want to be the bad guy. I want to be. I want to be the good know. guy. You always want to be the good guy. Yeah. Heartbreak tape is a new tape, correct? Yeah. In in on every platform. Every right platform. Now. Okay. Deluxe, deluxe coming song. Heartbreak deluxe tape deluxe coming gonna be soon. full ten songs. So I guess at that point it's album shit or mix, you know mixtape type length though. But uh, that's gonna be uh, March 29th. Don't Do you have different list. versions of it? I like. I like a lot of people is putting out music and they putting out like four different versions of the same song. So some people put out what the acapella. Mean? Some people uh, put out the, I mean, not not some oh. people. Everybody, as of late, has been doing the acapella, the regular version, another beat, beat, another beat. They uh, put it all out, and that's a streaming game. I've never seen that. Okay. Okay. Uh, check out okay. check out Rayvon, Beyonce's new joint. Oh, and yeah. The, the main one is French Montana. Okay. <laughs> I haven't listened to the French Montana yeah, tape, but he put out. He put out a tape that's all acapella. He put nah. out an acapella. He put out a one with a single. He put out. One that has different beats on it, and then he put it all together. A whole tape, like re-release. It's tape. ten French singles. Montana tapes right now on the top oh, of the charts. Right I've now, I've seen singles. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not listening so, to French Montana. And even Rayvon, even Rayvon, I, I didn't mean to say his name, but 
You can bleep that out if you want to. Uh, but even the homie from TDE, he uh, he has a new single that has three different versions of it. Interesting. So. Hmm. And they're different, all, so they're different beats and shit. He's fine. Is it like different producers? Like different? Yeah, it's different okay. producers. Different, different genre type shit? Like, no, like, no, no, no. It's still hip hop. It's, it's, all, it's all like, they're all hip hop beats. Yeah. It's not like, same it's not like lyrics, EDM, though, not just, like a dance mix or nothing like But that would be fire. A dance mix is fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah people do that. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. You do dance mixes? No, I haven't, but that's what I'm thinking. That's what I was wondering. That's what it was okay. as far as like. What do know. you like the most? Do you like performing or recording the record? Um. So this is my first tour, right? That's went on. Did you have to pay for it? I did pay for it, yeah. Okay, it. it's expensive. Yeah. Tour is expensive. Yeah, yeah. especially because you know, and this was this being the first one, and like I said, the team's exci- excited, so everybody wanted to come. So oh, no, nah, everybody, it's like, nah, y'all niggas can't come. That's cool. First no, tour, I, I'm no, glad. No. I'm glad everyone got to come because nope. it, it was like, it was we all learned a lot from experience. it, right? And we all got that experience, and I think it, it made everyone believe in the shit even more, right? And and so, uh, so probably prior to this tour, I would have told you recording, but now. For sure, performing. Performing? I love, I love that shit, yeah. What's the most you performed in front of? 30,000? Right, so, so what's crazy is... Um, 30,000 is a lot. So 30,000 a lot. I, it's more than <laughs> that. It's, it's more than that. that. It's more than 30,000? Wow. So, 30,000 Wiz Khalifa now. So like cra- I just shout out so Wiz, what's crazy. Wiz Khalifa. Well, it depends how, how we want to count, right? But like, so my first... So I took a little break from making music, right? And then I came back. The what fr- was you doing? I was just doing... Working with artists on the executive type of shit, right? Uh, when I came back and being an artist, the first performance I had... I was in London. Floyd Mayweather was fighting. Uh, it's an exhibition fight out there that was on pay per view on uh, uh, what's that channel? The, uh, they had the baddies or whatever it's called. Uh, oh, uh, Zeus, uh, Zeus, Zeus. It was, it was Zeus. Pay, is fire. We can talk about that too. I don't want to get into that. It was pay per view on Zeus, right? And it was at the O2 Arena, and um, and I'm like, I'm with him. It's like his birthday and shit. Like, it's crazy with the so he had the skating party the first night, and then. We talking there and whatever. I'm like, man, you, you got here. This new shit I got is you going to walk you up for your fight, <laughs> bro. Ends up being I actually end up performing, walking him out before his fight at the fucking fight at the O2, and this is the first time I performed since coming back into music, right? And so I don't know how many people was in this when, in the stadium, but like you know, on pay per view shit, it's probably for millions of people. So it's like that shit was but what was dope about that for me was like i didn't feel nervous and i was like and i used to always feel super nervous and anxious about performing and so the fact that i did a stadium on pay-per-view and i didn't feel nervous it made me be like okay yeah it's different i'm ready like you know what I'm saying? let's get it our fans is thirsty they're gonna fact check you they're gonna go no, try and find out yeah easy, that, easy our, our fans will be thirsty easy I'll to find that. for sure yeah, yeah i was wearing, I was wearing a bright pink like, motherfucking uh um, <laughs> Bright pink fucking like sweatsuit said, type shit. You said last yeah. week that you was going to get the Jordans. You don't got the goddamn Jordans. They be on our head. I ain't going to lie. You fact like take it for sure. Our family, I'm sorry. And it, was, it, wasn't the, it, was, like, it wasn't the best performance because I didn't have any ears and all these te- technical shit, right? And I'm like, and like, so my, I'm talking to my boys. I always be like, I like my people be real with me, right? So my house is like, you know, the sound didn't sound that great. I'm like, so for sure, we can work on that. I'm like, but hey, I wasn't nervous, bro, at all. And I was juiced because I'm like, bro, I know, I know what that, I knew that that meant something special because before I was always nervous about little shit, you know what I'm saying? So now I'd be like, I'm so calm before the show. I love going out there. I'm like, just just enjoy being on stage, enjoy interacting with the crowd and shit like that. To a level so, of professionalism. Yeah, it's like. Yeah. If you don't feel like you, you, you got shit on yourself, you, you got you to gotta believe it. It's not right. Nah, you, nah, I don't feel that. Before you, I used to play basketball, I used to have to shit first. You just got to believe it, right? Like, when you believe it. And then I get out there and get buckets. When you believe it, it's like you're not nervous. Like, because it's like. Or it could be like a split persona type of thing. For me, it's like, because I used to be, nah, I used to be so fucking nervous, right? I used to be so, I used to. But you still did it, though, right? Yeah, but like. You, did, did you not feel as different well. on stage? It wouldn't have be you as ever well got, because you could tell I wasn't comfortable, right? So it's like, it's like. And and I think the the difference right before if I look, if I say it's like before I wanted people I was like concerned if people liked me or people liked it right now I go fuck like I know that I know I know what I feel about my shit you know what I'm saying Y'all so pay for a ticket I don't care what your what your like I don't need your approval I don't need your validation and when when you don't need that it's like what what's what's left to question right ain't nothing left to question like but if you're going out there and you're i hope they like i hope they like they think i'm good da, 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 da. that's those are the things that create nerves because yeah. you're not sure about that but if you know you go out there being like yeah i, I know what i got nigga. and then it's like 
it's, it's a certainty. You know what I'm saying? That's fire. I like that certainty. It's tough to get up and perform on any stage. It's right. tough when the cameras come on. It's tough. It's just tough. We, we've been doing live streams lately. Mm-hmm. That's tough because you are live. Mm. And people, How was that for you? Real quick, sidebar. I mean, come on now. You know nah, me. You he was know a little me. nervous. Nah, I wasn't nervous. Nah, I was you... more so mad. I, the thing I don't like about a live stream is, first of all, you can't cuss. Number you two. Can cuss. Yeah, but I'm not cussing. It's a family show. Uh, number okay. two, uh, you, if you don't like your products, because we sell products on live stream. Uh, if you don't like your products, you kind of got to act like you like this shit. Yeah. yeah look, this sell is that hard. shit. This is fire. And it's like, sell that shit. shit. It feels Jeez. fake. Yeah. Feel yeah. me? So. It was it was tight. It was tight. I liked it. But the part, but the shit that you do like selling, you probably felt way more comfortable doing, right? I mean, I didn't like any of the stuff I was selling. So, <laughs> he got right. thrown into a fire. Out. Nah, I'm leaving the shit in. But uh, <laughs> I mean, next next show I will curate my own show. Yeah, you nah, yeah, more yeah, confident. Yeah. Sure, sure. Um, I bet you go feel different because it's like when you, I, I, when you I feel, feel I still that feel way. Good. I'm not, it, you know when the saying? camera comes on, when the mic is on, I'm good. It don't yeah. matter what happens. I'm good. I'm a I'm a line it up. You feel me? It don't matter. I'm gonna shoot my shot. But like I said. Being prepared, like you yeah. said, preparedness makes you feel fearless. Yeah. You know what I mean? No one can no one can trip you up. Yeah. And that, that's why I feel like I was living in that space. I was like, damn, somebody about to trip me up. But that goes that goes back to like getting the reps up too. Like I'm, for sure. you've done a lot of shows before that. For sure. And you probably had that feeling of it's now or never. And you just had no no type of nervousness. A hundred thousand like, is different. It's di- oh, it's for sure. A hundred thousand is different. I have no Yeah, and, and yeah. that and that's where I was like I don't know if I could, like, the pay-per-view, you don't feel them, right? You don't see them. So it's like, you know that there's cameras on you, you know that, but it's different than being in a stadium with 100,000 people. But I am but the, I imagine in front of 100,000 people, I would feel more comfortable than, like, a smaller crowd, right? Like, the crowds that aren't, that where it's not full, there's not a lot of energy in the room already, those are the harder ones, right? But I had, I had like, the Miami show on this tour, they scheduled at the same exact time as Super Bowl. So it was... It was dead. Dead bro. emotions. Uh, dead. That, that makes dead sense. Emotions. Dead, right? Yeah, that and makes like, sense. And then the, who set that up? No, on the tour. I don't know. Oh, who I'm like, the tour. But sure. Yeah, who set that up? But, uh, but like, but the thing was like, so, so, and and on top of that, the, the, the house, they were playing like the music super low and shit, right? And so it was like, it was just dead in the room and then they tried pushing it back to make it, see more people came, which made it even more so in the middle of the game. And like a couple people went out before me, and then like when I went on, I'm like, man, I'm just gonna turn this shit up. And I just, I just, I turned it up, right? And it, and the whole energy in the whole place lifted up, and it was like some shit that I was like, that was the moment I was like, okay, like I'm proud. Like I don't, I'm not a big pat yourself on the back type of guy, but like it was more. I'm like, okay, I, I give myself credit for that, because being able to do that, that's a difficult thing to do. You know what I'm saying? So when it's bigger crowds and they more lit and they more excited already. Then you can feed off of their energy. You don't have to come and give the whole room and whole space energy, right? And if you're in front of a hundred thousand people, there's an anticipation factor, which which means that there's already an excitement and energy built up. But when you coming in there, they like kind of like, oh man, like nobody really came. Like no one's here in the audience. Like we're missing the game for this. Should we even come tonight? Like you know, lower your energy too a little bit. It, it can if you're not yeah. if you don't you know what I'm saying so mm-hmm. that's what it was like and I seen it do that to the people when I'm performing so I, but I'm like I'm gonna go you know what I'm saying and and we went you feel me and so it's just like I think like that mentality of like whatever it is whatever circumstance rain sleet or snow like you know what I'm saying I'm gonna go so it's like you know who would you want to open for that could get you that hundred thousand shit I open for Drake man I love that <laughs> <laughs> damn just jump straight to Drake. <laughs> like he said, she said hundred thousand. Who else doing yeah. that? Who else is gonna pull hundred thousand? But no, nah, but Drake. But Drake is. He said, well, Kendrick. Hundred thousand is a lot. Beyonce. But, but you know what Beyonce, I say about. Yeah. But you know what I say about Drake. Though, like why? Why Weekend, I would say Drake? Yeah. Come on. You know why I would say Drake though? I think, like Drake, was a pioneer for. Like he made he he paved the he paved the path for an artist like me, right? Who who wants to speak about emotions? Who wants to speak about different things? Who didn't come from the streets? Who didn't? You know what I'm saying? He he paved the lane for that. You know what I'm saying? He was he a pissed. pioneer. No, because Kanye to... paved the way for it. I, or, I'm pissed. Fuck it, I'm pissed. Kanye paved the way for you to do that shit. Kanye, That's Kanye paved the way. He paved. He paved. He paved the way. But it's a. Di- I think. It's a, I think they paved different ways. You think they paved the without, same? Without without Kanye, there's no Drake. We can say that for every other artist. It doesn't matter. I'm talking Before, about Kanye man. and Drake right now. Without Kanye, there is no Drake. That's cap. There's no I, Drake. But That's I would cap. say it's Drake, impossible. I would say that for me, right myself. Yep. I would have to say that Drake 
paved more of a path for an artist like me than Kanye did. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's love. Similar. It was just, yeah, like and like and, and and you know, like he just he created a a like bro, people was always like when he first came out, people was oh, I don't know, he's emo they it was they weren't but they liked it, but it was like, oh, he's emotional to that. And it's like Type shit. And he stayed he stayed he he didn't let that shit like Take care make him change who he was man. and you know what I'm saying? And I and I respect that, right? So like anybody who will stay who they are, stay true to themselves, even if people are talking shit like that, I respect that. That's real. You feel what I'm saying? So like I feel like um, you know, I, I give Drake his props for sure. And like he's he's like every time I'm around Drake, Drake will he's always so love. He don't have to show love. His people, you could they love him. So he take care of them. You, you can tell, like he makes sure everybody good, like like the like the way that people love his people love him. It's like that says a lot about somebody too, right? Like the Absolutely. way the way that your way that their people are about them, right? So when you see that too, you know what I'm saying? That lets you know the type of person and lets you know that like, okay, yeah, you a solid you a solid person because I can tell the people around you aren't just here because this is beneficial, right? They really will. They really will die about you. So that means that you're a solid person. You know what I'm saying? You a really solid person. You feel what I'm saying? So, so those are the things that I like. I really respect. You know what I'm saying? Who in here is willing to die for you right now? <laughs> you don't got. He just he just raised his hand. You raised his hand. <laughs> you're fearing me. That's, hard. That's my daughter right there. I fuck with you. That's hard. That's hard. I would have said that he wouldn't have raised his hand. Oh, absolutely oh, not. Man. He fuck didn't no. Even raise his hand. Fuck no. It's, it's different, bro. It's, just, it's, it's uh, you know, that's fire. It, it, you know, that's fire. I mean, look, real quick, Fresh Enterprise Music Group is that is that your label? It's a it's a hybrid. It's not my label. It's like a, it's a hybrid right now that I'm releasing music through independently. Got you. Yeah, like, um, and you said there's other artists under there too. No, that's another label situation. There's a there's a there's a, there's a the lawsuit. Oh, wait, we, okay. We don't, yeah, we don't gotta that. talk about that. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. yeah, my bad, my bad. It's all good. Okay, but uh so your label though, you pushing out music through there. Do you plan on signing any artists or you wanna keep it you just you? Yeah, no, nah, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna sign artists for sure. We're gonna grow. We're gonna build like like I said, I wanna I wanna create pathways for other people. Like you know what I'm saying? I don't I don't wanna just be it's all about me. I don't need I don't you know what I'm saying? I don't I don't even I don't even like it being all about me, right? Like I used to okay. I used to be like so like now I've learned to be able to be okay to embrace it and like be that because that's what what I'm needing need. to do, it's right? Given, yeah. But I used to run from that. You know what I'm saying? Um so but yeah, so but in in my my spirit is like it's not a spirit of like want make, wanting to make it about me. It's like, you know, like I want I wanna see many people win. I wanna I wanna Create many millionaires, you know what I'm saying. Have you looked up your life path number before? You, you know what's so crazy. I have. I, I've actually been thinking about it a lot. I, I don't know how to look it up exactly. Here you, here you but go. I, but I wanna. Do you know how to do that? Yeah, yeah. So we'll do it after this. You explain. You no, explain. do it right now. No, do it you explain, right now. No, because we gotta finish the Fuck interview up. up. Just not a good question right here. You explain yeah. the life path number eleven. Now, life path number eleven mm -hmm. is a one one, right? So the two is obviously the second man out. What that you saying, like man, like. Damn, I gotta be the leader, but like I don't really want to be the leader right now. Like I don't have. Should I? Can I chill back and let somebody else be the leader? And ain't nobody gonna step up and be the fucking leader. That's why you gotta be the leader, right? So that's eleven. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? One, two. You feel me? We'll, we'll talk about it after this. That's crazy. Eleven was, was my favorite number. I was growing up. And then when you, when whatever your life path is, subconsciously you will see that number consistently. Mm -hmm. As of late, I've been seeing eight twenty four. It's kind of freaky. I'm kind of weirded out. Um, I feel like that goes for. No, no, no. I've been I seeing see 24 like a lot. And then I always see numbers with 11 in it. So because that's my life path, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You said something earlier that was important. You said, I like to be the bridge. Mm -hmm. The life path 11 is the bridge. That's you know true. what I mean? Through the higher spirit, through the higher spirits though. So you're the bridge through the that's spiritual true. realm. A lot different. You know what I mean? That's it's true. not about this flesh right here. It's about right. being the, the bridge to the spiritual realm. Yeah. So you spoke about God a lot. Yeah. You was fucking me up. That's why I said I was like, damn, like you, you got the bars. You know what I mean? Because of that. So look up the life path. It might be, you know what yeah. I mean, imperative for what you got going on. For sure, it helps you push away differently. You know what I mean? It helps. Yeah, yeah. It helps me push away differently. A lot of times, I'd be like, oh shit, like I know this situation going some way. All right, I got it. Yeah, I got it. I'll lead it. Yeah. Come on, come on, y'all. Yeah. You know what I mean? Versus sometimes you'll be like, nah, you got it right. Yeah. And they don't got that shit. Right. You feel not? Not you. 
I'm but just listening. somebody else yeah. don't got that I'm shit. Just so listening. Uh, keep that go, you guys. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's important because yeah. they don't got it as no, much as you sure. want them to have when it. I, when I didn't embrace it, and I, and I was and I ran from it, it's like shit was going fucking haywire. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Say that again. Shit was going haywire. Ran away from it. But okay, so are you planning on signing? No, nah, I'm not. Like I said, I'm not planning on. I'm, I'm, I'm not planning on. I'm, I'm, I'm neutral. If it makes sense, it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's certain things that are important to me. Uh, freedom in terms of like creatively, and and also like creatively, and when I want, like how much I want. Because right now I've been putting out a lot of music, right? Mm-hmm. And I don't, I don't want to slow down for. Like I want to put out. A lot of, keep putting out a lot of music, you know, um, because w- something's going to catch and just go, right? And whenever that happens, I want there to be a lot of work out that people can go to the different bodies of work that I have, the catalog, and become a fan, right? Because yeah. cause it's no, it's, I would hate for that song to happen and say that was my first song out, and then it's like, all right, well, shit, well, now we got to stay and work this song, and we can't, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Nah, I want I want to you know g- keep putting stuff out and you know keep building it up and it's like I think the the that decision happens at a time when it's like okay like there's either something either we we reach a point where we feel like we need something we need more fuel for the fire to to infuse to to grow to so we don't re- stay pl- plateaued or something just comes in as such a favorable or or just optimal situation where it's beneficial and it just makes sense and that and that would be the decision right but it's not like i don't plan to do nothing but god compelled me to do you know what i'm saying absolutely once again that spiritual realm tap into that it wouldn't be the show if we didn't do this so chris might have to show you the shoes but i want you to react to these sneakers that are coming okay. out First on our list right here. Are you a sneaker guy at all? I mean, you got on. Yeah, right she now. got on some shit. You know for, yeah, I'm not. I'm not like. I'm not like. You like no. designer better? Or what? <sighs> designer. Yeah, I do. Sneakers? I do. I do like designer. Mm. But I, I like sneakers. I just don't be knowing the names of shit. I be having shit like I just don't be knowing the names. You like so, what you like? I like what I like. Yeah. Some people. Oh, those is those. I'm like, oh yeah. All right, I'm man. Them, be like careful. Be careful, because the, the supporters <laughs> tread, are tread about lightly. To, <laughs> they're about nah, to, I respect this shit for yeah, sure. They're about to chew right you now. You see, hey, man. Hey, right man. They're gonna respect that. They're gonna respect that. Shit don't matter. They take. I ain't our, no op, man. You know what I'm saying? They take our our how we say things, flip it, and they hear their own world, bro. Hey, that's the world, man. That's life. <laughs> so real quick, Air Jordan Six Olympics classic. This is coming out July 23rd that's for fire. 2004. Bye. I'm cool. <laughs> these are disgusting. These are disgusting. Stop putting these out. We, we this done. is this is the fourth. This is the fifth one that is good. Remember, because I said four was good. This is number five. What do you mean? Remember, I said only four are good. I said only four of these are good. Oh, sixes, good. sixes, yeah. sixes. No man, mm, this is number. Honestly, five. I have never enjoyed that color blocking on a six. <laughs> this is disgusting. So, like a Carmine, put this in the tuck. Carmines are bad. Carmines are bad. <laughs> What what else? The UNC six? Terrible. Bad. So anything with that color block. Put these what in the think? tuck. But you say you like I'm those. Not, I'm not mad at those. You're not mad at those. Yeah, I'm not mad at those. Politically correct. It's politically correct. He, he's he's We're going treading to the next shoes since you're going to be so correct. He's treading, cl- he treading. Air Jordan light. 4 Military Blue. Releases May 4th for 2000. I'm sorry, 2014. Like those. Those are... 2015. I'm sorry. $215. Damn. That's how much the fucking fours cost. Two fifteen. You think ah. they? You think they deserve to be two fifteen? Yes, these are flame. I'm gonna post a picture of the 2012 pair alongside this pair when they come. He really is gonna do that. I am. Um, I desperately need these. These are fire. These are. What'd you say? You said these I fire. Said, yeah, I fuck with these. These are. Yeah. These are criminally early. Stop it. Criminally Stop early. It. Y'all these are. Didn't care about this? No, I I cared about it. But like top five sneaker of the year. Stop. Top five sneaker. This of the will year. never be a part of the sneaker of the year. Clip this shit. This will never be a part of the sneaker of the year conversation. So we'll do. I'm sorry. Because it came out already. Y'all didn't care about it. When? When it came out 2012. Y'all that, didn't care. That was the era of the Nike, Nike basketball era. So. These are another certified white boy special. It's not a white boy special. Yes, mm-hmm. this is. You choke these. These are fire. It's not a white boy special. Yes, these are. You wear these with the blue jeans, the Wranglers, and a fucking flannel. That's a fit. That's a white boy fit. That's a fit. Hard. For real. 
You coming correct with this. Like a polo? Button up all the way to the top. You don't button These your... dirty. They got to be dirty. Hard. No, White boy special. No. Auto cop these. But shoe of the year, that's crazy. Top five for real. You're sick. Next, you want to list Air Jordan, NY, Airship, Awake. You University Red. Like like November 9th. For 150. You can't see the details on these, though. It's crazy. Though. They got the, like, the, 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 like, the rubber on the bottom, different color. Yeah, that's hard. You see the, the stitch day? The gum oh, bottom's always oh, crazy. Oh, they got the fucking snake? And only 150? 150? I mean, they're not going to be 150. They, when they drop, they're going to they gonna sell out. They're going to be $1,000. I don't know, because yeah. the bike, the, the, those, night, are, those are hard. Those this are hard. is different. Those are, those are the hardest ones you guys show. The owner of Supreme Ooh. is the old, those are the ones old guy who the old guy who does Supreme does Awake. Awake New York. So, yep. So, so, creative director of Supreme used to be that guy. He now does Awake New York. All I know is he's like Latino, so that's all I care. He's a fire. Automatic cop. He's uh, a fire. Details fire. I don't know if I would like go out of my way to cop these. I'm not going to go buy these, no. Yeah. But if they walk to me, yes. Yeah, absolutely. Auto. If they come across the path, I'll take those. You feel sure. me? Yeah. Next on the list, Air Jordan High OG Olive. These is that joints. Olive color or is that, is that gray? Olive. Olive. Olive and white. Take olive, those. white, oh. black. Chicago color blocking, 180, November Fire. 16th. Fire. I hope these are real, though. Wait, so hold on, hold on. So, so you're saying that the, so the, the... I can see what you're saying. Look gray, but look just gray. imagine it olive. So olive's what? Like kind of greenish, right? Yeah, greenish? Like army green. Army green. Oh, army green. Oh, oh yeah, that's hard. That's yeah, hard. army so, green. Wait, yeah. army green with blue? Or no, it's, it's black. not blue? It's black. black. You're a little okay. colorblind, huh? It's not a homie colorblind too. He's just telling me he was like, this shirt black. I was like, no, that shit blue, my boy. That shit it really be like that though. Yeah, it be like uh-huh. that. It do be like that. Sometimes I feel like that about I mean, I, the hat I had on that first, the brim is navy blue. I thought that shit was black. It depends. Boy, walked out of the store, on I was the pissed. light for sure. But yeah, that, no, them shit's hard. Like, One thing for the the olive, it depends on the the olive, like the what do you mean? It's not if it's like an ugly looking olive. That makes it's, sense. It's fatigue. It's army. You can wear it with camo. Man. Yeah, arm, army shit is fire. You know what I mean? It's military. It's auto, auto cop. I'm not gonna lie. Auto. These are fire. Bringing the ones back. Are there any shoes that you're interested in copping? Or are you interested in right now that are that's old or? You yeah, know what I mean? just put me on game. I want them olive jumps. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, <laughs> the awake New York. I like the what's the ones. The airships. The airships. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 Those fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, don't forget to get the white boy specials. I, we all they getting them. We're gonna military have blues ain't really white boy specials. Them. Yes, they are. Uh, Stop it. You wasn't there. That's why. Uh, and it's not. It's not a bad thing to have it a white, is. like a white boy special is fire, because I mean every white boy you see on the streets can wear it and it's gonna look fire. So a choked up Converse, is dirty. That a, is that a white boy special? Choked up Converse, dirty, fire. What about yeah, the man? PG Langs? Who? The PG Lang Converse? Nah, you trying to be ghetto? What you say? B, waxed, <laughs> white boy specials. My man's right here. His shit's fly. Yes, yeah, so you know what I'm saying. He don't got that. But, he got but tap co- in. But he tap got in, the though. cocaine white. But tap right in. Now. That's cocaine My man, white. my man's going. Who, who's my man's right here in the green sweater? <laughs> Who my man's agree? What's my what's your name, my man? Dave. David. <laughs> David has the epitome of white got, boy wait, special. Wait, wait, Come on, can you you, want, you you feel comfortable? What's up? He got, he got blazers on. Come on. Come so, on. Real I have, quick. <laughs> real quick. I have blazers. And it's no offense because I'm saying they're they're fire. <laughs> right here, like right here, right here, right but, here. But yeah, come right here and just lift <laughs> them up one time. You see how they choked? Fire. <laughs> But he's ready to move on. He got the know? exactly. He on his business shit. He doing a business deal right you, now. You about to run out. You about to slip out your shoes. Yeah, you feel me? I'm trying to be too gangster. He's ready <laughs> to beat somebody ass. You feel me? Anyway, that, military, that's fire. That's military fire. Military blues that. are white boys. They so are. I think he, you reached. He would look fire. What's that the name again? David would be firing these. David would be the best looking in these if we all had him on, right now. <laughs> with with the fit he has on right now. He would. He would. And the flannel. Hard. <laughs> so that's why I call it a white boy special. It's not a, it's not an offensive thing. It's more like a damn you killed that. You what about feel these? Me? What about these? These white those, boy specials? Those are uh skater special. Oh, I thought you were yeah. gonna say some outlandish shit. No, nah, yeah. whatever. Yeah, but yeah. Could, you know, in the, the bay, fat laces. everyone wore vans in the bay. Yeah, so. you got the puffy I think laces. That's a whole California got the vans thing. on, but yeah. it looked like sneakers. You, you know, feel me? You that's what I remember. Yeah. I forgot to mention Larry June. Larry June is another <laughs> bay person. Yeah, Absolutely fire. My boy Simba up, too. Simba's like fire too. Yeah, yeah. In fact, Simba was actually just on uh, a friend of the show, uh, fucking Gilbert Arenas, uh, his show. 
Saying some outlandish shit. He had to get up out of there. He was talking about <laughs> basketball. He I wasn't the fucking up. with that. Oh, that shit stuck in my head. I ain't gonna hold you. I wasn't fucking with that. I was like, nah, Fimba. Anyway, man, I mean, you got any words you want to say to the people? Any last words? Anything man. special to talk about? No, nah, I feel like we talked about a lot of dope stuff. Absolutely. I'm happy what we talked about, for sure. Absolutely. I appreciate you having me, definitely. One thing. Vibe. You got to go golfing now. I definitely gotta go golfing, man. Please go. Yeah, let's hit, let's hit top golf. So we gotta hit top, you know golf. hit top golf. Film <laughs> it, film it. Let's film it. Ooh, I'm down yeah, for it. Have fun. Film some more of your music, man. I want to see I like when I went searching for you. I seen a lot of videos, which I like. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, well, yeah. you haven't dropped a video since last year. What you mean? You dropped a new video. Yeah, it was like it was like five new videos. Four. It's five. five videos out. It's five, six videos. Oh yeah. man, my bad. That's me. That's yeah. me. He got my, the right. My, my, my search <laughs> fucked up. My search fucked up. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah line it up, line it up. He's like, that's shit. fire. Yeah, Do you, are like you doing shorts? Are you interested in that at all? The short the stuff form, we were talking about earlier, like, like the short form stuff? Instagram, Reels, TikTok. It's like real oh, quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for sure, yeah. Okay. No, we, about, we about to get back on that. Like, we've been on the road, so we've been like... <laughs> that's the perfect time to make content. But we about to make... Yeah, no, we making content and shit, but like, I want to do more shit where I'm like performing. What's my man's name with the camera? That's my man, Jay. Jay? Jay. Yeah, Jay. He's valuable. 100%. Jay, run those He's shorts, man, my man. Right? Sure everyone in the video Drop them shits in. Like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Feel me? For Jay, sure. Yo, yo, paycheck straight? What's up? I got, you know what I mean? All right. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. That's, it's important. It's valuable. You know what I mean? 100%. Chris is a part of my social media team uh-huh. or our social media team. Shall yeah. I say? I don't want to say mine. I am the social media there, team. Look, look, see how you get? That's how, I am the Jay, single next man. next time I see you, I want you to say that. I am the. Uh-huh. You feel me? Like. But you feel me? That that's that's the vibe. That's the energy, no, bro. Sorry. I like what you got around you. I like what you got going. I like how your team came through. Professional, that's respectful. Sure. Everybody tight. You know what I mean? First you, guest that he had like a real entourage. a real entourage. Look, people. I, I mean, felt nah, intimidated. My good lie. I felt intimidated. My good lie. I mean, nah. When Quincy came through, it was two of them, but it felt like that. Nah, I didn't feel like that. Oh, you should have. Nah. You should have. Two of them? It wasn't just only person. Hobby. I feel like I feel like only one person got the blamer in here. <laughs> Stupid, bro. You'd be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's only one person, and we're friends. We're friends. We're buddies. You know what I mean? We're, we're pals. Buddies. We're buddies. He gave me the deuce. I said, <laughs> "My brother, you feel me?" But nah, that, I appreciate that though, because you need that energy around you. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You need people to lift you up, and like you said, support the music and For push sure. the music. Like yeah, you yeah. will push the music by yourself. Right. So. That's love, bro. We appreciate you for coming through. Nah, thank you. This has been an episode of the Fair Game Podcast. I'm your host, C13. This is Cash. Playboy Fresh. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Love. Like, subscribe, comment. Remember, you're the main character in your story. Dress like it. Oh, man. Dress like Playboy Fresh, man. He dripping, man. I don't know. Nah, nah.